Dear students, in today's topic, we are going to study on numeric tensors. So, uh, numeric tensor is the main data format of the TensorFlow. All right. So, uh, your deep learning framework TensorFlow has got the main data format as a tensor. This is completely a uh, new thing to you as of now because till now you have been studying about vectors, matrices and arrays. Okay. So, everything now inside a TensorFlow, whatever data that you are working with is called is in the units of a tensor. So, Basically, uh, till now what we have been come across like a scalar or a vector or a matrix, we are not going to use these words from now onwards. Every data will be a tensor only, but based on its dimension, you can classify it as scalar, vector, matrix or a tensor. But to be, to be uniform, they are all under the same title called tensor. So, when I first look into it, if I call a scalar, then what is it? It is any single real number. For example, here we have taken 1.2 and 3.4. So, that means there is a zero dimension to it. Okay. So, it has a dimension of zero and of course, the shape is going to be empty there because it is a single value. So, that is a scalar. Now, second is a vector. So, as we all know that whenever you have a set of real numbers which are wrapped upon in a square bracket, then you call it as a vector. All right. And similarly, when you have an ordered set of real numbers in rows and columns, say n rows by m columns, then you call it as a matrix. But now in this TensorFlow data frame, we will be calling every data as a tensor. So, when I am what till, like till matrix, it is ok for you. Now, what is a tensor? So, suppose I am having an array with a dimension which is greater than 2. Then each dimension of this tensor is called as the axis and each dimension represents specific physical meaning. So, we are going to see what exactly is a tensor. It can be scalar, it can be vector, it can be a matrix. Basically, it is the names will be differentiated as per the amount of the dimension, you know, that you take. So, I can say that in TensorFlow, scalars, vectors and matrices, they are all collectively referred as tensors without any distinction. And you have to make your own judgment based on the dimension or the shape of the tensors. So now, the next thing that we are going to see is a little bit of exercises wherein how do you create a tensor. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to import our library of TensorFlow. So I am importing TensorFlow STF and of course since I am working with maths here, I will be importing NumPy. So import NumPy as NP. And then here what I am doing is I am creating a tensor. So here you can see I am creating a, a tensor here with the values of 0, 2, minus 1 and 0, 1, 2. So I have to invoke uh, tf dot constant and in that I have to pass the num parameters whatever constant values I want to create as the tensor. So, when you print that value of x, what you get is a tensor. So, you can very clearly see when you print x, you are not only create, uh, creating a tensor, it also displays you with the shape and the data type that goes into it. So, here you have got the tensor as 0, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So, it is a 2 by 3 tensor. So, you can see the shape there. The shape is taken as a tuple there, 2, comma 3 and then you have a data type as integer and by default it is of size 32. So, that is how you created a tensor. Now, suppose uh, we want to see a bit more of it. For an example, you want to create a, as an extension to the tensor that I have created. I have created a tensor of shape 2 by 3. So, now I want to create another tensor uh, as a name y which should have the same shape that I have created as for x for an example. So, you have seen there, you created the tensor and when you printed it, you got the shape of 2 comma 3. So, I am going to use that shape from that 2 comma 3 and I am going to create a tensor y, but it should be all filled with 0. So, for that reason over there, I am going to use a fill function. So, you are using there tf dot fill and first what you have to give is the shape of that tensor that you want to create. So, I am giving there in square brackets 2 comma 3 and I want to fill all of it with 0. So, I am putting it as value 0. So, when you print that, you can see here you get a tensor of shape 2 by 3 filled with all zeros and of course, the data type is going to be int 32. So, this was about creating a tensor very, very simple. Now, suppose 
you want to return a boolean tensor for an example in place of values you want to get a boolean data type of tensor and suppose you want to do a comparison between the two tensors so if i go back i am having here a tensor x with the shape zero with the size zero with the shape 2 comma 3 and uh, you have got the values as 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and you have got the second tensor as capital y there and the same shape 2 by 3 and the values are all zeros so when you compare this two you can see x and y they are similar only at uh, position number uh, the first position yeah so 0 and 0 so you will see here when you compare them you get all boolean values as true and the true in the first column and remaining all being false so let us see how it is uh, one second let us see how it is so when I am comparing how do I compare I am comparing it them with equality so I am importing equal function from math library of tensorflow so to f dot math dot equal and I have to give the two tensors that I want to compare so x and capital Y I have given so as we have expected we got the output as true true onto the first column and remaining all false so the shape remains 2 by 3 and the data type now has changed to boolean although you have got int data type for uh, both x and y but when you are comparing the resultant tensor you get in the data type of bool right now let us look into the other example where you can create a tensor from a python list so suppose you have got a python list of 1 comma 2 so here i wantedly took an example of a list with different data types so you can see one is an integer two point i have taken so that is a float value so 1 comma 2 is the list that i want to pass now i want to create a tensor so this is a list and i want to create a tensor so what i am supposed to do is i have to use a method called convert to tensor so simply by using one particular uh, command over there you are able to convert a list to tuple sorry tensor so you got tf dot convert to tensor and as a parameter you pass on that list list and then you created a tensor so obviously the shape of this tensor is going to be uh, two comma that's it right so you have got the data type automated to float 32 because I have used their two point and uh, the data type is float 32 so you can see here the list have been converted into a tensor now suppose you want to create a tensor similarly from a numpy array okay so you create a uh, numpy array so here I have taken a 2 by 2 numpy array 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 okay and that I have passed as a parameter to this method of convert to tensor very simple one single line command and then I get a tensor shaped 2 by 2 and obviously the data type has now changed to float 64 okay so uh, this is how you can create a tensor from a python list in a numpy array all you have to do is pass through a single method called convert to tensor and then you go to convert it right now next is what uh, suppose you want to create a vector of all zeros and ones now why it is important for you to learn this because uh, since we are dealing with neural networks you all know that the you you always deal with a linear transformation of y is equal to mx plus c right so you multiply weights with input and then you add up bias so y is equal to wx plus b to be precise so now it, can, it is sometimes so happens that the weight matrix can be initialized with the matrices of all ones or else bias can be initialized with a vector of all zeros so you need not initialize it every time so that is the reason you want to create tensor with all zeros or all ones sometimes that is the reason I have inserted this example here so for that you have uh, inbuilt function called zeros and ones to create all zero or all one tensors with arbitrary shapes so you can see here as one of the example that I have created a vector of all zeros and all ones. So you see I have there tf dot zeros and I have just passed an empty parenthesis over there. So uh, there is no shape that I have actually given to it. So that is why it created a tensor with all zeros but there is no specific shape and hence nothing is printed. Now suppose if I want to create and I want to specify the space there so I want to create a matrix of all zeros so I am specifying here I am specifying the dimension of my matrix so as compared to the previous one now you can see if I pass zeros uh, in the parenthesis 2 comma 2 so I am specifying now the shape that I want thus there is a tensor which is created and also printed there so you can see 
the tensor is created with the shape 2 by 2 data type flow 32 and an array 0 0 0 0. Similar is the case where you create a matrix of all ones. So, what is the difference between the first example and the last two examples? In the first example, I have not given any dimension to the uh, 0 tensor created or 1 tensor created. So, that is why there was no you know output to it only shape was null there. But then when I started giving the shape I am also receiving the output. So, you can see you can create a matrix of all zeros and all 1s that means a tensor of all zeros and all 1s also. Now, suppose you want to create a customized numeric tensors. You know it is like uh, sometimes initializing a tensors with zeros or ones will not work. Sometimes you want to initialize the tensor with a specific value. For example, if you want to specify you know you want to initialize it with a value of say minus 1, then what you have to do? You have to use fill function. I have already used fill function beforehand in my first slide. So, that is ok. So, you can see what you have to do in a fill function is as a shape as a parameter you have to pass on the shape and then the value. So, you are going to say customize numeric tensor as in the example shown onto the slide you will use tf dot fill and in bracket you have to give the shape by which you want to fill and the value that you want that array to hold. So, here uh, I am want to create a vector of all elements minus 1. So, I am giving the dimension as 1 and minus 1. Why only 1? Because I want to create a vector. If I want to give a matrix then I have to give 2 by 2 say 2 comma 2 like that ok. And then you get all the vectors and matrices or in a way I should say the tensor will be created with whatever specified value that you want. Now, the next one comes to uh, where you will be uh, learning about how to create a tensor uh, from a known distribution. Now, this is the place where you will learn more about uh, where you will use this more in statistics right in data analytics. So, sometimes it is very useful to create tensors which are sampled from common distributions for an example normal distribution that is also Gaussian distribution and also uniform distributions right. You are all aware of what is a normal distribution, what is a uniform distribution, what is a random distribution right. So, suppose you want to create tensors which are sampled from this uh, already predefined default distributions. Now, these will be much useful in convolutional neural networks wherein you will be working with lot of kernels ok. So, you will be initializing your kernels from basically normal distributions to facilitate your training process ok. So, all of these applications will require you to create tensors from known distributions that is the reason we have picked up this particular example also. So, here is how to create a 2 by 2 tensor from a normal distribution. Suppose mean is already given and standard deviation is also given. So, suppose I have taken mean here 0 and standard deviation as 1, then what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to call tf dot random dot normal. So, that means you are going to create a tensor randomly out of a normal distribution and the size of the tensor is 2 comma 2. So, that is what you are going to give there. So, so with that you can see the output you got uh, the output as minus 1.57 approximately 1.72 0 0.45 and minus 1.43 approximately. So, that is a 2 by 2 matrix that you have a uh, tensor actually you have uh, got from a normal distribution with the mean 0 and standard deviation as 1. Now, suppose you know you want to create a matrix uniformly sampled from an interval of 0 comma 1 and with a shape of 2 comma 2. Then you have to again give tf dot random dot uniform. So, this is from because I want a uniform sample. The previous one which you have seen here is a normal distribution. What you are seeing next here is a uniform distribution. Now, you are should be aware between normal distribution, uniform distribution ok. So, you make sure you brush up your basics of statistics before you actually understand this. So, if you want a uniformly sampled data then you go for a uniform distribution and I am just uh, taking tf dot random dot uniform and I am passing the parameters as the shape whatever required tensor shape that I have and thus I get a random output from there correct. Uh, now, suppose uh, now uh, in the parameters of tf dot random dot uniform if I am just passing 2 comma 2 that means I am passing only the shape right. I am not giving any value next to it. So, by default it means the interval of my scan or my sample is 0 comma 1. 
Now suppose if I want something beyond 0, 1, then what should I do? I should go for min val and max val. Okay, min val, if, if I do not want to start from 0, then I can start from any other number, then I will be using min val. If I want to start from 0, I am not going to give min val, 0 is always default. Now suppose if I want to create a matrix uniformly sampled from an interval of 0, 10. Now again the shape is 2, 2. So what I am adding more, I am using tf.random.uniform2, 2, 2 and I am using maxwell equal to 10. Okay. So this is uh, what you get the final shape as 3.8, 7.3, 7.2, 1.3. Right. So this was about uh, creating a tensor from a known distribution. Uh, we are going to see more of it in our next topic.